Hi, this is Richard from the newly coined State Street Appliance over here in Hemet, California. And I'm getting a lot of refrigerators in now with defrost issues. And there's always been a manual clock that puts your refrigerator into defrost, usually about every eight hours, so three times a day. And a lot of people don't realize, but a self-defrosting refrigerator actually has a heater in it. It melts the ice that accumulates in the back behind where you can see it. It's all back here. You can put your hand here on a working fridge and feel the cold air coming okay, out. Okay, so the purpose of this video is basically more and more refrigerators are coming with this. This is an adaptive defrost. Uh, some kind of new fangled thing that's supposed to save power. And you know, for, it does as long as it works, except this is about 60 bucks new. Um, depending on how much your supplier likes you, maybe you can get it for as low as 40. There are ways to test it because I was looking for options on how to go ahead and put a manual timer back in because a manual timer is about 10 bucks. So you get a manual timer, get rid of this thing, it's a lot cheaper and you know that it's working. So there's some kind of systems where you, you blink the door switch. I wasn't getting this to be able to go into defrost. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it. I don't see any burn marks in it or anything else, but I couldn't get it to go into defrost. This one is a Roper, it's made by Whirlpool. There's three, three main brands. You got Frigidaires, you got Whirlpools, and you got, um, you have the Maytag style. So this right here, I've already plugged this in. This is the replacement timer. I think I'm getting these for about 10 or 11 bucks each. If you look at the plugs, it's got the four plugs like your regular, any old timer's ever had. It's got two extra plugs, that's power for the light. It's a shared, it's power for the light and for the board. Neat thing about these new timers, they come with a wire here. You plug it in here, and I don't know if the camera will get it, but this thing should be moving. Okay, if you look at the black wheel up in the top left corner, that's moving, so that lets me know on these clear view timers, it lets you know that it's getting power. And I installed this a little while ago, put it in defrost, and everything worked, the heater got hot, you can hear it popping, you can feel the warmth, and it came back out of defrost, and it's now running. So, in between the two takes, we uh, took the doors off, because I'm working on the doors. But, again, the main point of this, this thing here is anywhere from, anywhere from like 40 to 75 bucks. I think I'm getting them for like $48. This thing here is around 10 bucks, and you follow the instructions in the book, tells you where to put the wire, you can tell that's moving. This is your manual timer, saves you, saves you all kinds of money, and uh, that's what we've been doing. This is a Whirlpool model. There's uh, three main ones with the boards, it's a Whirlpool, a Frigidaire, and a uh, Maytag. GE and some of the other ones, they have a main board, they don't have a separate timer board, there's nothing you can do with it. But on the ones with separate timers, it's a cheap, easy fix, and it works as good as new. Thanks for watching.